The incredible destruction wreaked by the world's most terrifying supervolcano when it erupts. Researchers have pinpointed important warning spots across U.S. national parks that may signal a powerful eruption in the near future. The Yellowstone supervolcano has also surprised and frightened researchers for decades. Scientists recently discovered the consistency of the magma beneath the Yellowstone caldera is mostly slurry. This means that the amount of molten rock under the supervolcano is much higher than previously estimated. Although researchers insist that there are currently no signs of an impending eruption, these findings provide a more detailed picture of what is happening in the giant magma chamber beneath the national park. Despite this, scientists are still looking for small signs of a possible Yellowstone eruption, including observing ground levels that, if visibly raised, could signal the start of a major eruption. Such an eruption is explored in the Naked Science documentary, Super Volcano. In 2003, researchers began work after a series of strange events occurred. Geysers exploded, new cracks in the ground appeared, and satellite images revealed various changes taking place beneath the surface. The documentary's narrator explains, based on scientists' research, that all volcanoes give warnings when they prepare to erupt, and that an eruption at Yellowstone would trigger the mother of all evacuations. The first sign of a Yellowstone eruption may be rising ground levels, researchers say. Just before Mount St. St. Helens erupted, the mountain bulged, growing 5 feet a day. A similar increase is possible in Yellowstone. When magma deep below the Earth's surface rises, it splits the rock above it. In Yellowstone, it would probably lift the entire caldera, an area the size of Houston and Dallas, 10 feet or more into the air. They continued. Weeks or even months before the Yellowstone super eruption, these warning signs would have been the primary trigger for all evacuations. The 60-mile area around the volcano would be a danger zone. Officials will be monitoring the surrounding area, up to 200 miles, preparing people in case of a powerful eruption. As people evacuate the area, geologists will be looking for new warning signs that tell them an eruption is imminent. Yellowstone is one of 20 known supervolcanoes, volcanoes that have experienced eruptions with a volcanic explosive index of 8. In the last 2.1 million years, this mountain has erupted three times, with the most recent eruption being 1,000 times larger than the eruption of Mount St. Helens which devastated the U.S. in 1980. The last three eruptions have created what are known as calderas, giant cauldron-like holes that form when magma chambers empty, eventually forming depressions in the ground. Professor Bill McGuire, one of the world's leading volcanologists, said in the documentary that an earthquake would be visible when fresh magma moves into the system and destroys the overlying rock. These earthquakes produce specific waveforms on seismographs as rocks in the area crack and fracture, giving rise to sharp rises that fade quickly. The danger zone long before an eruption occurs, will be hit by these earthquakes, vibrations that signal that an eruption is imminent. However, this signal will be much different from a typical earthquake, and will produce long, continuous shaking. Professor McGuire explained, Now when the magma has opened up a space for itself, it will start to move through that space. And when it moves fast enough, it will start to vibrate the walls of the crack or channel and that will give you some kind of rumbling signal. Called a harmonic tremor, it sounds like the vibration of a large organ pipe and is the final warning sign before an eruption occurs. <laughs>